I'm Sir TapTap, and welcome to Let's Play Candy Box 2! This game, again, doesn't have a soundtrack, so I'm playing the, um, the Real Instruments version of the Quest for Glory 4 soundtrack, which I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's on Bandcamp now, which I, I did not ever expect to see, but uh, here we are. I really love when older game soundtracks are made available, especially on Bandcamp. Bandcamp's my favorite place to buy stuff. So yeah, Candy Box 2. It doesn't look so similar. Request a new feature to the developer. Ooh, we got a stats bar now. And I I think I fixed all my audio weirdness issues. Sorry about all of that. I there's a f I was having a bunch of issues at once and I I solved all of them, but it took a few videos for it all to uh, work out. Now let's ask for something a little bit more exciting. A wild saving tab. That's all right, but uh, final request. This one has to be worth the candies. Ten candies. Here's one th 100 health points for me. That's going to be useful. All right, let's get to our final request. We get a map. So this game is a lot more visual than prior candy box games. And uh, it's got some decent ASCII stuff going on here. Oh, let's go to shop. Well, I'm the candy merchant. I would do anything for candies. Anything. What do you need? Um, I need that chocolate bar. 800 candies? No. 60. Pumpkin flavored lollipop. Don't you have any door flavored lollipops? Strawberry. Uh, lemon flavored lollipop. It's his favorite. Uh, that's all expensive. Let's go to the forge. I'm Blacksmith. I can sell you various weapons and pieces of equipment. That sounds very useful, but we don't have quite enough candies yet. I'll take that lollipop from me, though. Hello! My cellar is full of rats. I need someone to get rid of them. If only I had someone with a weapon could help me. Unfortunately, I do not have one of them weapon-type deals. Uh, it's an empty house. I guess we might as well loot the place while we're at it, huh? Yoink! Hmm. Well, let's go back to the map for now. Wait. How do I... How do I go back to the map? Oh, wait. Right. This is how the map starts. Spoilers. But, uh... I guess we just gotta wait for some candy. So this game, a lot more visual. Let's, uh, see what's in the configuration. Language? Portuguese? Oh. I like that they, they list the uh, translators, too. French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Spanish, Ukrainian. Surprised not to see Jap- Well, actually, Japanese would probably be very difficult to- There'd be left to right issues, I, th I guess. Or not left to right, it's like, down. Anyway, it'd be difficult. But yeah, pretty decent selection of, uh, options there. Invert colors. Oh! You know what? Let's play it in uh, inverted colors. Makes it even feel even more different from the uh, original. But this game has a lot more... Well, I wouldn't say it has a lot more... Well, yeah, it's got more going on. And it... Um, there's a lot more visual stuff happening. And... Uh, okay, we can almost get that dang sword. Um, it does some really interesting stuff. And it has much better pacing. There's a lot less... Just waiting. Of course, it is an idle game, and there's a lot of points where you can just wait a ton to grind. I have a weapon. Oh, oh, I got tripped on this by this my first time too. We now have an inventory, and we have to manually weapon speed slow, damage one, and no special ability. You now have to manually select your weapons, so that might suggest that we're gonna get multiple weapons, isn't it? Hey, I see you carry a weapon. If you kill the rats pestering my cellar, I'll reward you. You enter the cellar. Rat, 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 rat. This is just like Morrowind. This is literally just Morrowind. <laughs> There's that. Isn't that, isn't that that quest that like you your reward is a pillow or something when you kill all the rats in somebody's basement? What a what a classic quest. But yeah, so this game has a lot of um, it's got really nice pacing and it's got some new options. It, it's a, a lot of what you would expect out of a sequel, really. It um, I really enjoy it. Like the first game, the, it was more discovering. Oh. This is a game? What? But this game is more like, okay, y you know the sort of the trick. But now we have the real map. So now we have, you know, a more full, a more complete sort of uh, thing. Oh, the little bottom here isn't inverted. Oh, well. So now we have this whole huge map. We got, a ni we got some nice world map music going on. Um, oh, a tree. Hello, I'm the squirrel. I can provide you with candies and lots of things. I know how much you love candies. But I feel alone in this forest. How can I help you? 
I will ask you questions. If you answer correctly, the sweetest of sweets will be yours. The first one, do you really love candies? Yes. Sorry, my mic's in front of the keyboard. That's right, here's 23 candy for you. Now let's complete this sequence of letters and you'll get a new reward. S-E-I-D-N-A-C. Candies, here's 100 candy for you. How many candies does the candies person in the world possess? All of them. Lots. Every. Uh, well, well, I'm the candiest person in the world, so I possess 259 candies. Here's 500 candies for you. Next reward should be even more interesting. Here's the riddle. An entry in the forest lives an old tree, which lives the most intelligent animals in the world. It's said this tree has 60 roots, 360 branches, and 2,160 leaves. How many marks can you find on its trunk? Well, that's six times that, and that's six times that. So the base number will be 10. Congratulations! I was talking about my tree, indeed. Oh. Apparently there's 10 marks on his tree, and, you know, obviously squirrels are the smartest creatures in the world, so, uh... Here are three lollipops for you. Make good use of them. Next riddle, listen carefully. Under full moon, I throw a yellow hat into the Red Sea. What happens to the yellow hat? Um, floats? Well answered! That wasn't so hard. Here's three chocolate bars for you. For the next reward, I'll change the rules a little bit. You have to play a game with me. Are you ready? Sure I am. This is Tic-Tac-Toe. We play on a 3x3 game board. Um, the problem with playing... I don't know if you knew this about Tic-Tac-Toe, but it is actually impossible to win Tic-Tac-Toe if both you and your opponent know the rules and don't make any mistakes. That's why Tic-Tac-Toe is a really bad game. Actually, I clicked that segment. Um, so what you actually do here is cheat. <laughs> That's... I don't know how you're supposed to know that one, but uh, that's how it works. Wow, that's an unexpected mood, but you got three in a row. I can't argue. You won. Take this key. It opens one of the houses in the village below the forest. Said they have no more challenge for you. Playing with you is very fun. Thank you for that. You're welcome. A lonely house. Oh, a box. Open the box. The box is locked. Shake the box. Nothing happens. Lure the box with a candy. Aw, oh, the box doesn't seem to care. Ask the box to open itself. Reasonable. You're talking to a box, you know that? Kick it. Your foot hurts a little bit, but nothing happens. Break the lock. The lock resists. Take the box with you. You probably need it anyway. Sure. All right, so we got a box. Let's throw 10 candies on the ground. Threw 10 candies on the 30 candies on the ground? Aw. Yeah, there's actually something we can do with that, but I need far, far more candies. Um. Lonely house, village, and we have to, it doesn't quite seem obvious at first, but we need to explore this area before we can continue on and so on and so forth. So first we need to explore the desert, but uh, we'll kind of want to do some stuff before that. First things first, we want a better weapon. Iron axe, inventory, we'll equip that. Weapon speed rather fast, three damage. And what else can we do? Let's go to that... Didn't we unlock a house? Yes, we did. Um, we can't pay a thousand candies, so... Super RPG! Aw, oh, yes! Super RPG. That's even better than a normal RPG. Ah, uh, yeah, wooden sword. Heck yeah. I'm gonna kill that monster. I'm gonna kill that other monster. I'm gonna kill... Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. Uh, to be quite honest, this seems super random, and it I, I never seems to work right. I, I, I do everything well that I'm aware of, and then just... I don't know, I just die. I think you need high defense because of these demon things. So I'm just gonna get better and better shields, I guess. Can't do much else. But this, this, this demon, oh, it's got three defense, so yeah. The, 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 I, I'm not sure you can win this. But yeah, I always lose to door three, because there's like, they deal crazy damage, and they have crazy defense, and uh, yeah, nothing we can do too much about that. That's right, Parker. So now we need to either need to wait 3,000 candies, but uh, one nice thing about this one is you can leave at any time. So, going to a quest that's too dangerous, 
you know, you just have to leave and then you recuperate. You recuperate faster in this game too. And instead of having a pure wait period, um, no matter, like, in the old game, you had to wait until you were fully healed no matter what. In this game, you can kind of just leave. So yeah, we successfully explored. We can, we can go to the lollipop form. We'll lollipop every eight hours. That's not really very good. Every 45 minutes, so... What you really want is every lollipop every second. And, uh, can we... Yeah. You know what? We can... The wishing well. I'll throw candy on the wall. Hello, Wanderer. I'm the wishing well. I shall grant you the wishes in exchange for some sweets. When you throw candies in the well, I heal your wound. I don't need that. I don't have a lollipop. Um, we don't need to, uh... Ah! Now we have some more stuff in the shop. What's that? A time ring. We actually don't need that quite yet. Leather gloves. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good one. I don't... I don't know if these actually do anything. But, we're gonna buy some lollipops. And... the gloves, sure. Uh, let's go back to the map. Wishing well. I think lollipops just transfers them to candies, which we don't need yet. Every two minutes, almost. Once we get to every second, we will be... We will be in a good place. Um, so the lollipop farm starts off quicker. There's a lot of better, like I said, there's a lot of better pacing in this game. Uh, once you throw a chocolate bar, it will grant you an exchange for wishes. I love chocolate bars. I really love them. I really, really love them. Free chocolate bar you throw in to me, including this one, you'll be granted a magical enchantment. Um, this is one thing that's kind of a guide dang it moment. Um, chocolate bars turn out to be extremely important later on, and uh, it turns out they're limited. I mean, once you beat the game, you can get unlimited chocolate bars. Spoilers, but uh, uh, f for now, we will want to be very careful about our chocolate bars. And I, this is something I wish I knew. I actually got to a point in the game where I was in a real bad place because I didn't get any chocolate bars. You're trying to cross the bridge. A huge troll is blocking your way. Look at his big troll nipples. So he looks pretty intimidating, and he hurts quite a lot. See, so yeah, we can't beat him right now. Well, that's unfortunate, so we can't go in there yet. Let's check out this cave. Oh, hey. A right arrow. Left. Right. Left. 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 Right. Took the right path. Spot a strange thing on the ground in front of you. What, what what did I get? I, I honestly don't remember what that thing is. Oh, it's a heart plug! Gives you more heart. You increases your health points by 20%. Which isn't much because we haven't eaten any candy yet, but that's fine. Um, went straight on. Uh, a secret of the way this works, you can totally ignore any enemies that come in your path. So you just exit here, and now we can access this area. That's right, Parker. Yes, yes it is. Yes, I... Um, let's jump into the sea. You jump into the sea, you know you can find precious hidden treasures in the depths. Yes, we can, Parker. We're gonna, we're gonna beat up some small fish with giant axe. Yeah, actually, we... I don't... I don't... I think we're not in a good... Oh, dang. Oh, I, I should be killing these instantly. I... Uh, this is... That's gonna be... I'm gonna die eventually. But, uh... Let's go into the lighthouse by boat. Oh. This is Cyclops. Who are you? I'm a very old Cyclops. What are you doing here? I live here all day long, waiting for the boat to come. It's been a long time since I've seen a boat, but I must stay here, staring at the sea, because a boat may come. Why would I eat candies? Because they're good for your health! That's a secret. Well, not really a secret. You should have known that from the first game, but whatever. That's right, Parker. Well, you're talkative today. Why are you so chatty? Hmm? Pets. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's a very old box. It's said to contain all the candies in the world. The legends say that whoever manages to open it would have so much candies that anything could be possible. But how do I how do I open it? Is that all you got? Is that all I got you for me? Now whatever, let's go back to the map. The forest! You almost died in the sea, but you managed to escape the service by overing a dolphin. Oh! 
Okay, that's not- we're not gonna be able to beat that, are we? Um, we're not really in shape to fight the monsters in here. Ooh! I'll take that. You see small rocks arranged strangely on the floor. So that's obviously something hidden under this house, maybe? Yes, the, 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 the monsters in here, it's not gonna be good for us. Yeah, it's, he's they're they're too hard for now. We'll be able to fight those later. Is it is it under one of these? Oh oh oh! No, there we go. Dig under the tree. Found three chocolate bars. We actually have like half of the chocolate bars in the game, surprisingly. Uh, one neat thing about this this version of the game, because of that pink glove. That's part of the reason I got the pink glove. Um, it does help in general, but uh, we can heal faster just by going to this desert. Unfortunately, the amount of candies we get from here isn't really too impressive, but uh, why not? All right, so we can go to the lollipop farm, get one lollipop every ah, forty-two seconds isn't too bad. Um, I think this may be the point where I have to do a teeny bit of grindy, grindy. Actually, let's see what happens. If I eat all them candies, how much health do I have? I don't think that's quite enough. I do think I need that silver sword, unfortunately. There's a few times we do need to do some grindy grind. <laughs> I like the birds. Like I said, it's a lot more visual than before. It starts out with the standard, like, rat, rat, rat. Um, you know, it's kind of like the peaceful forest in the first game, but uh, the later levels do have a lot better ASCII art. Our, uh, hmm, what can we do? The, like I said, the lollipops, I think it's two lollipops for a candy, so we can't really benefit too much from that. We unfortunately can't go through the forest yet. See, yeah, we're, kind of, we're kind of out of things to do until I can get that better sword. So you know what, I will take one more try at the Super RPG. The one, th the game you play for 1,000 can actually give you some pretty good benefits. You know what? Let me look up. I'll see if maybe there is a secret to playing this game, and because uh, I'll need to wait a bit for more candies anyway. And, you know, maybe maybe I'm being stupid and there is some way to do this properly. Ah, uh, that's about the best I can do. Ah, uh, dang, he still does one damage to me. Oh, and there's th there's m multiples, yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll see if there's a guide for that or something. But, um, it's not essential to beat the game. Spoilers, but, uh, yeah. Also, these these towns or these houses—they're fake. You can't go into them. Yeah, we still need 2,000 candies, so I'll, I'll give it a bit of a wait. And uh, this should—there really shouldn't be too many pauses. There'll be less pauses than there were in the uh, other playthrough. But yeah, for now. And you can you can sort of grind a teeny bit faster by uh, going through the camels, but they only give you like 40 camel or candies, I think. There are different camels though. There's there's tripod camels. There's uh, there's very rare quadrupod camels. And I think dromedaries are camels with like one lump. Yeah, 50, 60 candies up roughly. So teeny bit faster, but really you should just leave this open in, a, in another tab. And I think certain events, if you switch out of it, if they switch out of the tab, they uh, stay there, and so just kind of leave it in its own window, I guess. It's definitely a good game to play, like the original. You, you you do other stuff while you have this in a tab. You know, obviously I'm not doing that because I'm you know doing this whole silly commentary thing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait here and uh, we'll be right back. I mean, it won't be any time for you, but it will be for me. Sad face. Alrighty, I found a guide for the 
thing, and so either I'll get enough candies through, you know, gradual growth, or this will work. It sounds like it's basically impossible to guarantee a win, but there's a specific strategy you can do to, uh, so to go through. So first is wood sword. Parker, please. Quit the shop. So the enemies are random, have random stats to a degree, and wow. I think I'm, oops. Fortunately, that's what I was supposed to do. Potion up to f over five. All right, now I want silver shield. Potion up to over nine. So it's just this big old list. Seriously? Oh, he had lower attack. Okay. Um, health pendant up to 15. Health up to 13. Okay. Oh, spooky scary skeletons. Uh, diamond sword potion to 10. Okay. Not super exciting. So, nothing. Potion up to 13 again. Wait. You say so. We died! <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's very random, and eventually you fight a dragon. There's like a whole bunch of different weapons um, that eventually happen. Like, let me show you. Like, um. Can't figure out how to get past 24. It's, it's just totally be pretty random somehow. Yeah, so it, it just. The, it, it's not very well designed. Either that or it's deliberately impossible, which I still don't think I would consider good design. But, uh, fortunately we have spilled that mill. Uh, we have a lot of lollipops, because we're getting 99 per second. Um, let's feed that mill. Candy's production. So yeah, feeding the mill lollipops gives you uh, more candy production. Which is very useful and can eventually lead to more uh, lollipop production, too. Um, yeah, most importantly, let's buy that silver sword. Lightweight body armor. Took a lot of time to carry the sword. I'm sure it's worth its price. Sure it is, buddy. Lightweight body armor would be good, but we definitely don't have the money for that. So let's go murder that troll, hopefully. <laughs> Some fitting music for this troll. Pretty little. I assume that's a sunset in the background there. Um. I, I'm not actually ready for the troll? Okay. That's... What else do I need? Can I... The ring slows time, but that's that's more to give you time for potions and stuff, which we actually can't use yet. I think I just need more HP, actually. Get all the candies. Yeah, it's not gonna get me quite up there quite yet. Throw a lollipop. Hello, um, throw the lollipops, we'll convert them to candies. Two lollipops for one candy. See, so let's just get 5,000 candies. Wait, can we? Nah, we can't quite get. Well, you know what? Just in case, let's try this second minigame. Ah. The minigame's just to give out candies, but yeah, let's try this one. Galactic Wars! So this is like a helicopter game, sort of, except you you fly straight, so you're just basically all doing the dodging. And w when your power is at max, you can uh, clear most of the uh, little Cheerios that kill you. So I think once your score is over a thousand, you start getting pretty good rate of candies. You'll eventually get, um... Like, I think I got around 1,500, maybe? Or maybe it was more than that. But I eventually got about 6,000 candies out of one go of this. Ah. Yeah, eventually it does start getting fairly tricky. But there's a good time. There's certain points where you really just want to use your um, power. Oh, dang, I'm down to four? I know it took some hits, but... Sheesh. Okay, yeah, when you get to that thing, you're basically going to take a hit. 
We got almost 4,000 candy, so that's pretty good. Um... Not really enough to buy that armor. But it is enough to get quite a lot of HP. And let's heal at the well. The At the well it keeps getting more and more expensive, but I think once you load your save it uh, becomes cheaper. Oh, speaking of saving! Um, this game has multiple save slots now, save on slot 1, and you can auto-save, which is a feature sorely lacking from the original. Also, um, saves are local in this game, so you can save your current game as text, which makes it kind of easy to cheat, but uh, we're not going to cheat. But, um, yeah, you can, you can save your game as text and, you know, email it to yourself or whatever. Yeah, we should be able to fight that troll now. But, um... Yeah, it's really nice that it auto-saves, because that's something- the original candy box did not even warn you if you tried to close the tab that, you know, you might lose data. So you had to be, you know, you were totally responsible for your own save data, basically, and, you know, I'm not very good at being responsible, so I lost some data a couple times. So yeah, we pick up the troll's bludgeon from the floor. Hooray! And found 500 candies. It's not too bad. Uh, Sorceress's Hut. Hello, I'm Sorceress. I can teach you a thing or two about magic, and also can give you some interesting things or cast spells for you. But everything has a price. This price will be lollipops. A lot of them. Hello, witch. I have a nice hat indeed, but I can't really give it to you. It's way too precious. Really, I can't. Don't insist. No, no, no. I shouldn't do that. Oh well, I'll trade it. But for one billion dollars, you probably won't be able to pay that anyway. Um, even more important than the, the thing is these books. So Grimoire made for beginners, by carrying it with you in quest, you'll be able to cast simple but useful spells. Only 5,000 lollipops, definitely. Magic Cakes, My Little Pony, WA. 17. I'm not sure what all of these are supposed to be, that's obviously some MLP there though. This is an advanced Grimoire. 2,000 lollipops. Yeah, we want that. TSN 666. Um, yeah, that's actually all we can get there. We can steal a single lollipop. But, um, yeah, we actually need 100,000 to get the cauldron. We'll need that cauldron later, but um, we're getting lollipops at a decent enough rate. We'll be able to just wait a little bit and get that. So, feed, no, I can't feed the mill yet. So, let's go check out our abilities against this guy. So now we can cast spells. And spells are actually really good, and um, because now with um, in Candy Box Two, uh, yeah, we can't we can't really kill that guy yet. In Candy Box Two, what you can do is um, when you cast spells. Oh right, Acid Rain. Um, you can kill that when you kill that bird with a with Acid Rain or whatever. You uh, get a bird feather. In this game, you um, spells recharge automatically so you know you don't have to consume scrolls like you do can consume potions but uh it's nice it makes them pretty effective but also there's a little pixel in these phones isn't there yes there is parker yes hi drop pets yes um it's about something in the mountains it looks interesting could be useful climb the mountains we found a pogo stick it's been added to our inventory see so, yeah, the pogo stick lets us jump we Jump over the camel. Oh, we can't. Jump over that camel, though. Yeah, jump is useful later. It's not really too useful right now. Yeah, it just sort of fills out our set of abilities. We can also jump higher than we could normally because we got that desert feather. Um, well, we need some potions to actually effectively fight the... Uh, let's see what happens when we fight this thing. We need something special to defeat this guy. He's real annoying. Because watch, watch what he does. He doesn't have too much health, but yeah, we, he just walks over us. Although we can, we can teleport and then fireball, but no, I don't think this will work. Um, there's a specific item that we can use to make this a lot easier, because eventually... Yeah, it's just not going to work. Yeah, soon we'll be able to go underwater. Actually, there's a randomly generated... There's like a random occurrence to get a certain item here. That... Um, You can't see my cursor. I should change that. Um, is that a... 
Oh wait, capture cursor's on. I don't know why you can't see it. Uh, I think it's just in my preview. It's too small when it's the uh, the thingy. I think you can see it. Get out of here. Get, get, get out of here. We're not we're not really very good against these big fish. Unfortunately. There's a couple of items that appear underwater here. Og. Unfortunately, we can't. We don't really take too much damage in this. But uh, the nice thing about this underwater area here is that uh, we keep what we find, even if we die. You just float out of the water, because I believe this area is basically infinite, but uh, with increasing challenge. But there's a couple of very important items here. Let's, let's sneak down here. Uh, actually, these things are pretty dangerous. I'm not sure if I'm prepared to handle these. Fireball it! Ugh, so unfortunately, spells do take a while to recharge. That's right, Parker. Yes, they do. Fireball it. No, 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 no. And now I'm stuck. Whatever. But we get to keep what we found, which is a bunch of candies. Um, so yeah, for right now, I guess we're at another little part where we, I kind of need that cauldron to continue on. But uh, it won't take too long to get those lollipops, and I'll... And that might take a while. We, we can grind pretty easily with the wizard, with the octopus king, but I need health potions. That's basically the only uh, thing you need for that. Yeah, this is a pretty good point to uh, give it a cut for the second video. So uh, this has been Candy Box 2, and we'll be back. Alright, we got... With the second grimoire, we first get Acid Rain, which does... Well, you saw Acid Rain before. Yeah, just sort of... It, I don't really think it's useful for anything except killing those birds, actually. Uh, Fireball does really good damage, actually. Let's let's fight the troll. This guy's basically free 500 candies at this point. The Fireball does, like, 40 damage, I guess? Or 45, it looks like. Um, teleport is just like in the first game. It sends you back to the beginning of the area. And Erase Magic just erases even your own magic and stuff. Thorn Shield. I have not seen a practical use for Thorn Shield. If you want to grind at this point, um, you might as well go and kill this guy. And uh, I think he's 500 candies? Yeah, 500 candies. I kind of like this log, this battle log. It makes it easier to follow what's going on. Yeah, we basically need to wait until we get that, um, that cauldron so we can make some more potions.